everyone, welcome to my Project Ideas channel. Today we'll learn how to connect a DC motor with encoder using Arduino Uno. So let us begin. So for this, we need one small breadboard, one Arduino Uno, one DC motor with encoder, one edge bridge motor driver, one power supply, one LED, one resistor, and a few connecting wires. Now let us see how to connect the circuit. So first of all, let us see how to connect this DC motor with encoder. So first of all, we will connect this motor negative pin of it to this output 2 of this edge bridge. After it, we will connect this motor positive to this output 1 of this edge bridge. We will connect this encoder ground to the GND pin of this Arduino. After it, we will connect this channel B to this 3 number pin of this Arduino and the channel A to 2 number pin of this Arduino. We'll connect these encoder power pin of it to this 5 volt power supply of the Arduino. So in this way, our DC motor encoder is connected. Now let us see how to connect this edge bridge. So over here, power 2 will be connected with this positive pin of this power supply. And the negative pin of this power supply will be connected to this. GND pin of the Arduino. Now we have already connected this output one of output one and output two of this edge bridge to this DC encoder. Over here, input two will be connected to the six number pin of the Arduino, and the input one will be connected to this five number pin of the Arduino. We'll connect the enable one and any uh, one and two of this to the nine number pin of the Arduino. And both of this ground pin of this edge bridge will be connected to this GND pin of this Arduino. And now we'll connect the negative pin of it to this GND pin of this Arduino. And the same will be also connected to this cathode of the LED. And the anode will be connected through a resistor to this 5 volt power supply. So in this way, our circuit is connected. Now let us see our code. So this is our code for this. Over here, first of all, we have initialized many variables. First is the input 1 and input 2 to 5 and 6. Uh, these input 1 and input 2 represents the P number of this edge bridge to which uh, it is connected to this Arduino. Then this is the enable pin of it, which is connected to the 9 number pin of this Arduino. In the similar way, these is the LED encoder pin A, B and all such. These uh, are the variables which represent some pins of these components to which uh, these are all of these are connected to the Arduino P numbers. Now, this flat, uh, fluid ratio, uh, we have initialized it to this. This is the 360 is the revolution that is this DC encoder will have a 0 to uh, 360 degree revolution. This is the KP to 30 and target degree is 360 degree. Now in this void setup function, uh, this is the pin mode. We are using this encoder pin A for the input purpose. And uh, we are attaching this interrupt through to encoder A. And we are changing it. And this uh, encoder pin B will be used for the uh, input purpose. In this way, in the similar way, LED will be used for the output purpose. And input 1 and enable pin will be also used for the output purpose. Now in this void loop function, uh, we, are, uh, we are calculating the motor degree using this uh, formula, encoder position into ratio. And the error will be calculated based on this formula that is the target degree minus motor degree. And the control will be equal to KP into error. Now over here we are writing this enable pin to 255 means we are giving a high uh, input to it. And this motor, now if the motor control is greater than 0, if it will be true, high will be executed as low. And in the same way, minimum of this will be uh, passed in this function. And the third parameter will be 255. Now in this encoder E function, we are calculating this uh, encoder position. We will... Add this, add the, add this, uh, add this to this. 
now if uh, if we will read this encoder p of this a and if it will be equal to this encoder p of this b if this will be true the it will return 1 else it will return minus 1 now in the similar way encoder b is there if this will be true minus 1 will be there else 1 will be there now in this motor function we have you uh, use two parameters first is the boolean direction and the second one is the integer value now we are adding this input one in direction and led as well and now uh, we are at last we are adding this analog in this way input two and direction if the uh, if it will be uh, if there will be something in the direction then uh, we will give 255 minus value if this will be false then we will simply give this value only now let us see how exactly it will work so for it i am clicking on start simulation as you can see over here dc encoder is rotating over here you can see that uh, there is some voltage set it over here and this is the current in ampere and voltage in volts now if i am changing it uh, let us say to something like 0 volts. So this DC encoder is not rotating. So in this way it will work. Thank you.